Back to us is up front. Let me take you live now to Parliament, where corruption was on top of the agenda uh, earlier today, where the Justice Committee is probing the annual report of the National Prosecuting Authority. The NPA head, Shamila Batoy, says the performance of her first year in office has not been as she would have liked it. Well, more on that. Parliamentary reporter Lindsay Dentlinger, good afternoon to you and welcome. So how successful does the NPA think it's been in prosecuting corruption? Jeremy, as you've said there, Shamila Batoy not happy with the performance uh, in her first year in office, um, but she's saying this is largely because uh, of resources and money and, of course, the time that it takes to investigate uh, corruption uh, of this nature. These cases are mammoth and uh, they simply don't have the skills and where they do have the skills, we've heard from Hermione Krenier, the head of the investigative directorate, uh, that uh, it comes at quite a cost. Um, but I can tell you that that they've um, prioritized 87 cases, uh, around 26 of those are already enrolled um, uh, in court. And Shamila Batoy says by the end of this financial year, they hope to have all those cases um, before the courts. So notwithstanding uh, money, and that's an age-old refrain as far as uh, the office is concerned, what is she saying needs to be done to speed up prosecutions? Uh, Jeremy Chabila Batoy is very concerned about pending budget cuts. As we know from COVID-19, many departments uh, will have to endure cuts to their budget. Uh, she says the NPA could stand to lose 1.1 million rand, and it would really undo everything she's tried to set up uh, over the last year. More people have been employed in the NPA in this last uh, year than have been in the last 10 years, and she fears job losses of uh, over 500 people uh, if they have to uh, deal with these budget cuts. Uh, so really her concern is having to continue to build up the NPA, need more skills, more resources. Uh, but she says she understands the public's uh, anxiety and wanting to see action in these corruption cases. Uh, and she wants to assure the public that the wheels of justice are turning, uh, albeit slowly. She acknowledges that uh, they are turning slowly. Uh, but her deputy, Rodney de Kock, mentioning that cases like VBS, we know back before the courts again tomorrow, uh, um, Steinhoff, those cases, she says, are receiving priority. They are working at it, and the changes now to the regulations that will help them to access um, forensic information uh, that um, has uh, given rise to some of the evidence we've heard before the Zondo Commission of Inquiry. All right, Lindsay Dentinger, thank you very much indeed. Now.